Hi, it's Lynn Langett. Here's more on my short series on Hadoop on Azure. So let's take a look at some of the samples and uh, see what we can do with our freshly allocated cluster here. So the team has been adding more samples, which is fun to look at. So um, if you're totally new to Hadoop like I was when you got into this, it can really help you to understand what you can do with your Hadoop cluster by just running these samples. So uh, you can see that they consist of things like um, a pi estimator. Um, and all the examples here are running, um, well, the first ones we're running from JavaScript, so jars. Um, here we got word count, a uh, number of occurrences in each word. Uh, you can upload data via F, uh, FTP or JavaScript and then F execute this via JavaScript or the pig language, which is a strange name, I know, but it's, it's a way, one way you can interact with your Hadoop information. Then you have a gray sort. Um, so this is a benchmark thing that, that's used to see Hadoop performance. Um, C-sharp streaming shows you how to write a map reduce using C-sharp. Um, so that's a good, good example using C-sharp. Then we've got the Pegasus graph mining package. So again, used by the university. And the Pegasus um, uh, uh, shows how to use this Pegasus uh, mining. And these look new, the Mahout clustering and the Mahout classification. And then we have the scoop. Um, import uh, export for working with uh, SQL Azure. So I'm going to try out the Mahout clustering and see how that works. So it gives a description here and it says it requires RDP and then uh, it looks like it's, it's documented inside of here. So um, I'm going to pause this while I read it and then I'll go to the next step. Alrighty, continuing on here, I read the instructions in the sample there and it said that I needed to RDP into my instance and I needed to download some data, which I did, and put it, that's this data right here, the synthetic control data, and put it into this directory. And then I needed to navigate to this directory here, apps, dist, mahout, examples, bin, and run this command as administrator, build cluster synthetic control. And here's the command window here. And then I need to pick a number to choose the corresponding cluster algorithm. So. In other words, it's going to take this data and it's going to run basically a data mining algorithm, a type of clustering. So we've got canopy, k-means, fuzzy means, um, these other two, which I do not know. Again, I'm not a statistical expert here, so I'd actually have to look up. I know k-means and fuzzy means, but so I'll pick uh, I'll pick uh, k-means since I know that one, and I'll go inside of here and I'll run it, and it says, all right. We're gonna, we chose k-means, so let me bring this up here. And uh, the, the DFS is healthy, so it's uploading the uh, data to HD, the HDFS. And now it's gonna start running this. Now, if you've never run anything in Hadoop before, it's distributed you know, uh, execution, distributed batch execution, that's the whole idea. So you have this huge bucket and you're running this, um, these processes across. And so it comes from, actually comes from Google. And it came out of, the whole idea of Hadoop came from um, one of the parts of the functionality, not really the file storage, although Google uses a version of it, came from um, um, their ability to uh, index for their web searches. So it's, these distributed processes are called MapReduce. So I'm not gonna be able to teach MapReduce in a five minute video, but, but in a nutshell, Map is basically extract and format the data in a, in a particular format based on your Java or your input and then reduce is aggregate and, and show me your, your output. So here it's showing that we're mapping and we're reducing and it's going to show this batch and there it's, it's really cooking and we're going across our, our, big, our big node here and then we'll see the results. I'm going to pause this and then show you the results. Well that took a little while to finish and it um, also didn't seem to show up in the console as a completed job. Maybe there's just a latency. Um, I had to also go back to the original sample on the Apache website to find this command to uh, be able to view the output. So this is showing the, the k-means output to verify that the job actually completed correctly. So um, got to be a friend of the command line to use some of these samples. Anyway, so that's the use of one sample in the Hadoop on Azure. I'm Lynn Langett, and for more on data, www.lynnlangett.com.